opening uh, tech to allow those who um, have vision impairments yeah. or voice impairments to be able to communicate with others, and that is such a good cause. Thank you so much for continuing. Every single dollar helps. And if you too would like to continue donating, you can visit the shop on Smash GG, get yourself some cool gear, and the proceeds all go towards the cross. Help us create goodwill and get goodwill. Here we have game number one between Mars and Larry starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I am not sure how many times Larry and Mars have actually played an ultimate, but I know at the very least in Smash 4, they played twice in 2018 and they uh, each won a set. Uh, it's looking like Larry's got the, <laughs> got the load down right now on the Mars because he is only taking 8% on this yeah, brand new game here crazy. and continuing this pressure. My goodness, this is uh, this is looking rather rough so far. And that's really the uh, impressive power of, wo of Wolf, right? I mean, he has got such great aerial drift. He's able to use these aerials to uh, really apply safe pressure. And once he actually confirms a hit, the combos are really strong, exactly. do a lot of damage. One of the things that Mars, you know, he can do is get these edge guards. But ZSS has to commit on those short hops with those aerials. And the buttons on Wolf are so good at outboxing that. But you're automatically just, as soon as you touch Mars' shield, you're potentially getting boost kicked. And he doesn't get the call out on the roll as well with that flip kick that could have potentially led to a stock. All right, great rollout from Larry there. Not gonna get caught by the down smash paralyzer. Up, special from Mars. Still not enough to take this first stock. Larry looking pretty good at 100%. Uh, he's going oh. for these boost kicks Ooh. yet again. That's what we were talking about before. The moment you tap his shield, he wants you dead. But that down smash, also something that will make you dead very fast. And you see Wolf, uh, Larry going for those up smashes out of shield. The commitment, light. Ha oh, excuse me, Mars has to make. That's gonna cost him. But that side B finally putting himself on the board. Yeah, catching him with the very tip of that whip. Side special securing that first stock. 87% deficit for Mars though here. And the big uh, thing with Mars we talked about before. The quick damage he puts on his advantage state control is so strong. Yes. So you know Larry is going to respect that. Larry is very, he's very passive when he needs to be, but he knows when to commit. Absolutely, and he's gonna want to be really careful playing over here by the ledge. Um, especially knowing that it doesn't matter how much percent he has up on Mars, if he overcommits off stage, he can get punished hard with an edge guard. There's that commitment right there because he knew that the risk reward management for what he did to get that follow up parry up smash, it's okay. He's like, all right, cool, I take a dash attack, what's gonna happen? I die? Ooh. Nope, but you're gonna die to this F tilt. Larry putting himself two yeah. stocks up on Mars. Such long reach uh, on that F tilt. Really, Mars believed he was safe in the quickest, like, frame seven it's option. The closest believe, we're like, ever getting to Wolverine in this game because that <laughs> F tilt reached oh. so far. Berserker Rage not gonna help out though. He still has this jump. Yeah, that was the only way that Larry was actually gonna be able to survive that end card. <gasps> Yo, is he done? Oh my god, oh, they actually saved yeah, him. Yeah, 100% he did. That, you know, I like the commitment from Larry just to make sure because it, it wasn't going to make it back. But it's yeah. like, all right, let me guarantee this this spike. But Mars coming in with the most clutch tech that he needed and now potentially going to put himself on the board. No, he's not. Larry's still going to live. Oh, man. 115% though. Larry's still on his second stock right here. And Mars just committing to staying back. Now he's like, all right, look, I'm just going to throw off this relatively safe move from this distance. You can't punish me from back here. Very committing to not one but two nares. Boost kick gonna force him off. Not gonna die though. All right, dash attack intercepting the uh, approach here from Mars. Still uh, trailing by quite a bit at this point. He's really got to find this stock off with Larry at 150. Yeah, and this match should uh, potentially could have ended much longer ago. Yeah. And Mars keeping himself in it. That nair called out his jump though. But with <laughs> that flip kick is such a good move, all-purpose tool between killing and making it back. Up throw gonna finally put himself back. At the end, yeah, that is still the like swiftest and like most irrecognizable animation for me. It's like, yo, I, I didn't even know. Like, how do you even react to that to DI? It's so fast. All right, this beautiful is... combo coming out from Mars. Double up airs into the back air. That's already 50% for on Larry. This would be huge for Mars mentally too if he can make this run back after almost losing the game. We're talking about he's cheater. He tried to go for that flip kick to steal the stock, but he's. Getting, still make it back to F tilt, not gonna get the sweet spot he was looking for. There's a forward throw from Larry. Gonna shoot out a laser just to apply some pressure. You see Larry trying to find his footing right now. Larry, all he needs is a straight back air or something, but essentially like a, a down smash. Yeah. Or actually even back there at the ledge at this point could get the kill, but you see Mars is playing perfectly away. He's not trying to get called out. Yeah, if, also if he can uh, get um, Mars to be baited in onto his shield. He can get a, an up smash out of shield. He punished there with the F tilt this time, just outside 
of the range on the uh, si down special. Yep. And he positioned himself perfectly too. He's like, I know Mars wants to get out of that corner fast. It's going to be on him to be patient. And my call out here is going to work. And it did. That F tilt ended up coming through. Uh, that was almost very much so a derailment of that game for Larry. Mars almost bringing that all the way back. So he's got to feel good about that. Yeah, definitely. After it started off super strong, I mean, Larry only took like 14% on that first stock before completely obliterating Mars. So <laughs> massive, massive comeback that he had. Yeah, it was Cannot like 8% feel bad about that at all. It was, uh, it was, <laughs> uh, Mars was looking a little free for uh, yeah. the bracket in that first stock. But that's the thing about being a top contender like these two is that you have to be able to brush that off, put it in your back pocket. It's like, okay, you know what? I got sauced. Whatever. I got two more stocks to work with. Especially with eight, eight minutes to play with, too. You got a long time to make those adjustments. Larry will stick with the wolf pick here. He does have a few other characters. He plays all of the spaces. Falco, Fox, of course, is number one claim to fame. Yep. And he does have a Shulk in the back pocket. I was about to bring up the Shulk, yeah. too. I don't think we'll see the Shulk in this matchup yeah. in particular, but we can see it throughout the day, potentially. I th believe what Larry was saying on the side, though, is that he's going to commit mostly to the wolf throughout this bracket because the wolf works very well for a lot of these matchups, other than if maybe he runs into Louie again because that Falco is really bad for Dr. Mario. Yeah. Uh, the change of pace here on Battlefield, you already see like how Mars is trying to box around, but Larry calling him out, catching him with the Nair as well, and calling him out in the jump yet again. Larry's been doing such a good job of catching Mars when he wants to get out. Yeah, he definitely has a really solid read on the movement options that Mars has. Of course, uh, using the down special, the flip kick, is a really great like get out of jail uh, button, as well as the uh, just the double jump in general. Yeah, but you see Mars going Whoa! deep, catching him with the side B, but he still has his jump. He's going to make it back. Mars applying pressure at the ledge here. The back air, Larry getting the parry into the F tilt. Yeah, good, uh, good, like confidence in par uh, his parry ability to go for that because he potentially could have had a stock loss due to that. Bear going to force him back off stage. Often recover low. I like it because Mars is hunting for that jump. Falling out of that side B though. Mars is not going to get the stock. Just running up to the up smash though after throwing out the side piece prior to that knowing all right he wants to get out. I'm not going to let you. Yeah that was such like aggressive pressure. Uh, really scary for Larry. I mean he had to hold the side special on his shield and then his only real option to get out of there was to jump which Mars called out with the up smash. Exactly. We're seeing, but there we go, no, calling him out as well, being proactive on shield. That up smash scoops you from so far. Such a good option. Larry only trailing by 48% here. The Nair to grab is going to be big as he gets that dash attack, already making this percentage back. Yeah, it's such a huge thing that he needs in this matchup, especially with these triplats. Being able to rack on that big damage so fast. And you see, he's playing around, but Larry's starting to adjust to that pace he was looking for before. He's starting to call the small hits out. All right. Mars sharking below him on this platform. Trying to find this neutral air, possible conversion for him. And there we go, calling him out in the anti-air up tilt as well, but it's so even so far between these two. Like, Mars's game plan entirely is to stuff out a lot of Larry's pressure, but Larry's been doing a good job of keeping it, just boxing just enough. Really liking the pace. Here's that call out with that back air at the end of flip kick though. Yeah, I, I, the retreating <laughs> aerials are working wonders for Larry, but the aggressive aerials How? from Mars are working wonders. If it works for you, it works for me too. And Tony Crust, it works for us too. We thank you so much for that $25 donation. Continuing to rack up this uh, total donation count we have. We have so much more time in the day to continue to contribute to the Orange County Goodwill. Thank yeah, you so every much. Every bit is appreciated and every bit counts helping us create Goodwill. So is Akira QB with that extra $10 donation. Be sure to check out the shop. You guys get yourself some cool merch and continue to support the Goodwill and cause. continue to watch Larry Lur continue to juggle Mars, trying to find his way back down to the ground. Mars usually the one to give other people freaking flyer miles, but this time around, Larry reciprocating. 48% to 105, he's gotta find himself an opening. Yeah, this is anyone's game right here. I really like the counter pick from Mars. He's able to maneuver around these platforms mm -hmm. uh, much easier than Larry is. <gasps> and he gets him with the flip kick on the stage, but good DI from Larry and Battlefield coming through to keep himself alive, but he catches him again, going for it twice. Like, you know what? Last time you stayed by the ledge, I'm gonna see if you do it again. And he decided to go for that get up attack, but called out for it. And Mars gonna take himself and put himself on the board. Yeah, really interesting option there from uh, the get from Larry. Of mm -hmm. course, the get up attack is gonna catch people who are on the ground, but in that situation, Mars was keeping himself mobile in the air, mm -hmm. using the flip kick to come back onto the stage. And that 
doesn't it has a hitbox above it, but the way that Mars had positioned himself was completely over that hitbox and was able to beat it out exactly. with, a, with the hitbox. Even with that get up attack invincibility, if yeah. you position yourself out of range after it's gone, that's it. You got to take that punch. Yeah. And Mars, very uh, very much the, the killer of neutral get up in the last game. Actually, at Nairo as well. We played that character. You really didn't want a neutral get up against uh, ZSS. Mars utilizing it now for those get up attacks. Yeah, so we got game number three here. One a piece for each player. Mars definitely looking uh, really strong. This early percentage right here. Something I'm noticing out of Mars as well going into this game three is he's recognizing that Larry is attacking a lot on landings in a disadvantage where he was getting hit a lot before. He's like, you know what? All right, I'm going to stare at you. Think you have an opening? I'm going to fade back and get these grabs and these small hits. And it's working so much better for him so far in this game three. Oh, beautiful fair one into this double fair conversion right there for Mars, act, racking up that extra damage. But Larry making a comeback right here. Ooh, the just throw the mix up. All off of catching him with one nair and forcing him behind, getting him with that back air. That was an early back air at that too, maybe yeah. 90 some odd after the hit. Huge for Larry there. Yeah, that's so scary, man, because you get that turnaround back air. That it's a really early stock for for a wolf player. I like the fact that he's, he's just waiting around for that potential high recovery for that flip kick too. Larry now taking advantage of the fact that Mars has to approach much more. He can't sit and wait for him to land anymore. So he's pulling out a lot of retreating fares, trying to call him out. All right, he finds a grab right here. Larry sharking below, doing really well at 104%, but he wolf flashes right into that whip and he's able to survive just barely. And Mars getting out of there quick in a hurry too because that side B as well can very much take a stock away if you're trying to go down there and get that kill. The up smash, same thing we saw in that last game. Situation Putting him on that again. side B, only instead of doing it twice, he knew he was gonna jump the first time. Yeah, waited it and then got that up smash anyways. Mars at 94%, two stocks apiece here. And this is... See, it's not going to be huge damage, but this is going to lead to good state positional advantage. And now he's at 38%. Mars starting to cruise a little bit. We already saw that back air. That he's already at a potential death percent. All right, Larry with the forward air right here. Scary spot. If he can catch that up air, um, Mars might be in danger of losing that in stock. So he does not want to be above him, especially with the... the Plethora of <laughs> anti-air tools that Wolf has as Mars well. Mars was seeking out that Nair to down Ooh. B there, that position. But the rising up air calling him out on his recovery. Good position for Larry. 69% to 134. Larry looking much more comfortable. Ooh, not one, but two shots. But the Zare's going to back him off finally. Going to get called out on the back air, though. Larry continues uh, yet again to establish his lead. All right, Larry taking the two. One stock, two to one stock lead right here. That up special is not going to be enough to kill. Nonetheless, putting Larry in a bad spot, able to secure a landing on the stage with a fair and get some extra damage with the extension as well. Yeah, Larry forced to go deep there. I like the fact that Larry has been now overcommitting to a lot. What's the tech chase option? He's going to roll by that attempted fair from Mars there. Good delay as well. Not going to get hit by a potential flip kick. Not trying to side be up too early. All right, that up smash is going to be the end of Larry's second life. And we're down to our last stocks here in game number three. Yeah, Mars. this would be huge for either one of them. But one of these two wants that counter pick advantage going into the rest of the set. Currently, it is a best of five. However, Mars, after taking a pretty large like amount of damage at the start of the stock, starting to slowly bring it back a little bit. Then again, Mari, like I like the fact that Larry's consistent with, all right, I'm just going to reset. I just want to do small hits, back off. Double Nair, though. Uh, double Nair and almost got something beautiful on the platform. Nonetheless, continues his momentum. That Nair, just in the nick of time, Larry able to break out of that potentially fatal back air. And catching him on the landing with that side B2, trying to go high, trying to catch him again. But he actually Ooh. recovers high to avoid Mars's attempt at a ledge trap. Yeah, and Mars not overcommitting it. I mean, there is a little bit of lag, but it's deceptively low. Knowing that, he didn't want to press any button, potentially get KO'd for it. And he's going to get hit with that back air, but he's not going to die just yet. Larry got to hit him with one more. Oh, Mars trying to find his way back in. Going for the down throw, going for stage positional advantage. Almost calling him out with a nair, but what's the option? Up tilt, not going to hit. Oh, this is so scary for both players. Mars jabbing out. 
regaining center stage, and that up smash should do it. It does. That was huge on him, and you see Mars shaking his head off, Larry shaking his head a little bit too, knowing that that was a full commitment right there. If he did, if he decided to go for that up smash and he whiffed on shield, Mars was dead. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. We're both at kill percent. Let me see if he's gonna be the one to be more proactive. He probably wants to jump and kill me anyways. Good call on his part. Yeah, it definitely came down uh, to where the percents that they were at, like neither player could really get a conversion into the KO. So they were looking for those hard reads. Both players just circling around each other's shields and, and avoiding their potential threat bubbles. Waiting for that one opening, and Mars was able to get that successfully in the end. Yeah, both of these players being so good at mid-range and whiff punishes, but really, throughout the set, they haven't had too many whiff punish opportunities. So these hard reads have been huge. Like, they have to go for them sometimes on these kills. And right, Mars is already taking a substantial amount of damage right here. Nothing that he can't make up. Oh my god, that could have spelled the end of Larry's first life. Nonetheless, the momentum still in his favor. The amount of times I've seen Mars get away with dares onto people on stage, it hurts me a little bit inside. But it's such a good trump card option. Like, you save that type of option for when people don't expect it. And that was a good idea, going for that up smash, but Mars didn't pull the trigger too early, looking uh -oh. for a jump. No jump here, yep. Larry forced to use Wolf Flash back to the stage. Oh, and Larry actually caught him, uh, caught him with the DI mix-up yeah. there, because after he caught him with that Nair, he was retreating backwards with that neutral B. So I don't think Mars was actually prepared for that. Good uh, kill for Definitely. Larry. Right, as uh, Mars was hold already holding backwards, trying to avoid a potential follow-up, he got hit by the dash attack anyways, and just spelled the death. Exactly. You'll take that every time, and you're going to take that up air on that landing as well. We were talking about before how Larry's been attacking a lot in disadvantage to get himself out. Kind of pulled it back a little bit, the last one, but Mars knew he was going for it there, catching him on that trade. All right, 60% for Larry here, catches the grab. Here's a forward air, but another forward air from Mars to break out of a, any potential threat. That's the idea here, opting to go for a back air to try to read a jump, and he's actually going to take 43% for it. Larry's spacing out those back airs at the ledge. I mean, he knows if that connects, it's definitely going to KO uh, at that position of the stage. Yeah, especially with the ZSS, you know, they want to flip kick off the stage uh, to get out of there really badly. And Mars being one of the few, but he still goes for it. He's relatively aggressive at the ledge, so it's a good idea. What's the idea here? Just waiting it out. Good patience from Mars to avoid that up smash. Yeah, and when you really think about it, these like wide stages such as Town and City are really good for Larry to employ this uh, back air spacing strategy because mm -hmm. From when he has his opponent at the ledge, he can back her towards center stage and he has so much room to work with there. And then as well as uh, continue to pressure with the um, approaching back airs as and well. And he finally catches him with that side view off the stage. Larry had such a comfortable lead prior to that and now... Yo, was that toss, man? You yeah. saw that dash dash in the back and forth? Yeah, oh, oh, no, he, he used to do that between <laughs> every match before. Uh, Oh, he's going to catch him with his air as well, give him stage position advantage. But the up smash out of shield is going to get himself on the board. Larry looking at his last stock. Mars wants to close it out, but Larry still much, very, very much so has life still. Zero to seventy-seven percent though. Looking rather stressful. However, that first hit fair. That's all you need just to start to slowly rack this back up. Look at that, sixty percent, relatively Ooh, uneven. Okay. <gasps> and wow. he gets the down smash at the ledge. We're going to game five. What an absolutely clutch play from Larry. I mean, he he went off stage to try to threaten with the backer, forcing. Mars to recover low, and once he was forced to recover low, he was a sitting duck. Larry with beautifully timed and executed down smash, catching that recovery and bringing us to this game five. It's all or nothing for both players here now. Uh, and this is exactly what I want to see. I mean, they were evenly matched in the last year in Wii U. You know, they both have a set on each other, and this is kind of, this is the rubber match. This is the tiebreaker. And what a better way to do it than in a game five. I'm so happy to see like the adjustments. Like both of them are such uh, strong players when it comes to getting the driver's seat. Once you put them in that momentum, it's really hard to make it stop. And Larry used to do it with the Fox, but he's also found a home with Wolf as well to do the same thing. You saw that last stock went from zero to 60 really fast and he was able to close it out. Yeah. Beautiful plays from both players. I really like the, uh, the characters for both. They definitely suits them. Um, I agree, and, and also he's style. consistently, like all these aerials uh, as counters have been suiting him, but luckily for him, he doesn't lose that stock early to an attempted dare from Mars there. And what's the option? No real heavy punish on that grab. He was stuck on a platform there. Yeah, okay. in this game, it's a little bit harder to get off of those platforms, especially when you want to drop right below so uh, to uh, 
land with an aerial, the uh, mm. the uh, shield dropping animation is a little bit harder. I really like that movement from Ooh. Mars there, being able to like drift off that platform and give himself stage position advantage because of it. But not able to seal off the kill and just backing off, not committing, not going to get hit by that up smash. And he's going to actually take the stock away oh. after what was a large lead from Larry. Mars takes the first stock. Yeah, it's inter interesting how that interaction worked out. That first hit of forward smash didn't connect, but the second one did. So that was able to get, clean up that stock. And Mars looking really, really good right now. Yeah, at 128%, but you see that he's kind of got gained a little bit more confidence in his movement the way that Larry's been calling him out. He needs to get as much, because he's on borrowed time right now. With the way that Larry's been closing out these kills, this stock is eventually going to be gone. But you, he wants to rack on as much as quick as possible, or maybe even get a near down B at the ledge. All right, Larry looking for that dash tag. You see the KO, but so will that up smash out of shield. As soon as he got the stun gun, he was immediately going for it. Like, if I could get this kill right now, it would be fantastic. But Larry um, answering immediately back after he comes down from the angel platform and now lapping him in percent. And Wolf turns the tides around just like that, man. It's, he's very much like the, like, Ganon version of the Space mm -hmm. Easel, where he only really takes, like, two to three reads yep. to do the same amount of damage. Yeah, and also being able to just control center stage pretty much from anywhere with that laser. It goes so far. Mars has to respect it all the time. There you go, boost kick out of shield, gonna give himself a little bit of room to breathe. Calls out the jump, but he couldn't go finish him off because of the fact that he got traded with. Okay, the side special confirming into the forward air for Mars, racking up even more percentage. Uh, pressuring with the side special. Oh, and luckily for Mars not dying to that back air as well on that whiffed forward smash. That was huge, but Larry didn't get it, but that boost kick, he's gonna kill it is. He's gonna go straight to the corner. We've seen this position already before though. Yeah. Mars had him on last stock. Larry was potentially out of it, and Larry absolutely destroyed that stock on Mars. Can yeah. he do it again? This is a really tricky situation for Larry though, because the percent that he's at, it, the confirms into kills are gonna be way harder. Again, mm -hmm. he's gonna get these, have to get these raw reads. Um, and on the converse side, Mars, at this percent, is going to be able to connect whatever he wants on exactly. Wolf. He's the he wants perfect weight and fast, a, a fall speed to get combo. Yeah, sitting at 38, 40-ish area right now, you know he's going to be seeking yet again that Nera down B at the ledge. If he can catch him, maybe with a ground. But instead, he's going to come on the jump and uh -oh. recognize he got aggressive with that down air, but he's not going to get killed off the top. And that up tilt finally going to put him on board. Last stock apiece on both players. All right, this is exactly what Larry needed. If he can find uh, just a single hit and another grab conversion, that's already halfway uh, the percent made up. You see Larry holding shield there, and he finds his opportunity. This is what happened before. Got that fair into the grab, but only taking 33% that time is Mars. Dude, if, he, if he forward airs to Wolf Flash mm -hmm. to end the set. Oh my god, that, that would be insane. <laughs> he calls out the tech in place, doesn't die to that back air. It's so close though. Very crucial DI coming out from Mars there as well. Uh, reacting at the very last possible moment, and this is going to be it. No, no it's, it's not. not. It's actually not going to get the kill. And he almost gets him with the Wolf Flash on his way Ooh. back in. Oh, the my The up smash on the last lingering hit is going to finally take him off the board. What an intense set from those two. Mars going to take it and continue in winner's side. Yeah, man, the very active hitbox on the up smash, able to catch Larry as he air dodged through the initial mm -hmm. hits, landed right above him, and still popped him up. Took him into the blast zone, and that was an incredibly Larry list that mass awesome stock set. by like this much, yeah. this much. That side B was so close to stealing the game game away from uh, Mars. It was he was right there, but luckily for Mars, did end up killing him. He was able to get that up smash, and if he whipped that up smash on shield, that would have been Larry's game because he was right at the ledge in that back throw or potential down smash could have could have gotten that stock. Yeah, the way those last two games played out, I mean, it really was like, it could have been anyone's game. You could tell the level of respect they both had for each other. And just, you know, knowing each other from playing in previous games, previous sets, like they, they know like, these are gonna be like close sets or I'm either gonna body, body you or you're gonna body me. And they both like, walk away with good face on it too. Yeah.